If we get immigration reform across the finish line, and it is there, just within our grasp, if we can just get folks in Washington to go ahead and do what needs to be done, we're going to grow our economy, we're going to make our country more secure, we'll strengthen our families, and most importantly, we will live up, most importantly, we will live up, most, most importantly, we will live up to our character as a nation. I need your help. There are thousands of that's, people that's, that, that's exactly that's what we're talking about. Yeah. Every single day. That's why we're so here. President, please use your executive order that is, to call deportation for all 11.5 undocumented immigrants in this country right now. What we're we agree that we need to pass comprehensive immigration reform at the same time. We, you have a power to de stop deportation for all undocumented Actually, I don't. And that's why we're here. I need your help. Okay. Thank you. All right. What I'd like to do. No, no, don't worry about it, guys. Okay, let me finish. Let me, let, let me. How about, we, these guys don't need to go. Let me finish. No, no, no. Let, 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 you, can, you can stay there. Let, 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 let me, hold on a second. Hold on a second. So. You know, I, I respect the passion of these young people because they feel deeply about the concerns for their families. Now, what you need to know when I'm speaking as President of the United States and I come to this community is that if, in fact, I could solve all these problems without passing laws in Congress, then I would do so. But we're also a nation of laws. That's part of our tradition. And so the easy way out is to try to yell and pretend like I can do something by violating our laws. And what I'm proposing is the harder path, which is to use our democratic processes to achieve the same goal that you want to achieve. But it won't be as easy as just shouting. It requires us lobbying and getting it done. So. Chu Hung, uh, talk about that moment. Um, first, how you came to be right behind President Obama, part of his backdrop, and then what your message was. Um, so I was in formally invited uh, by the White House to attend uh, his remarks on immigration reform in San Francisco, and my intention was to hear what he had to say, uh, especially about um, how he's going to address the lives of 11.5 million undocumented people who are living in this country are uh, facing a fear of deportation on a daily basis, including my family. However, he did not address um, wrongdoing against undocumented immigrant family members he have done, and he did not uh, have any concrete examples to pass comprehensive immigration reform. And uh, when he talked about uh, Thanksgiving uh, and spending time with uh, families and Thanksgiving, I thought about my own family. Um, I was concerned about my mom's safety. I was concerned about my sister's safety uh, because they could get deported at any given period of time because of anti-immigration uh, deportation uh, programs uh, that was implemented uh, by uh, Obama administration. So I thought about my family, I thought about my personal struggle as undocumented, and I thought about my friends and my communities who have been deported and who are currently in detention center. And I felt that it was, I was compelled uh, to tell the truth to the President Obama that he has ability to stop the deportations for all 11.5 million undocumented immigrants. Um, but he did not do so, um, and I think that his response was um, very uh, disappointing because he's treating me like a child, and he did not adequately address my question. And in fact, he lied to the public that he does have power to stop deportations when he does. So I think that 
But uh, Juhong, I think that if, if I can't uh, ask you uh, again, this issue of how you ended up in behind the podium, because the people who are chosen uh, usually by the White House sure. to be behind the podium are usually some you would assume are vetted in some way or other uh, to make sure that these kinds of interruptions don't happen. So how was it that you ended up uh, being invited to stand behind the president? Sure. It, well, I was actually selected randomly at the day of. And like I said, you know, I was there to just to hear what President Obama had to say. I didn't uh, have any plan to uh, interrupt his speech. But but then again, I was very compelled to speak out the truth about what what is happening in our community. Ju Hong, after you interrupted President Obama at his speech, he continued with his vow to press ahead on immigration reform. I want to go to another clip. This is from the end of President Obama's speech, where he seems to be addressing you directly again. And if you're serious about making that happen, then I'm ready to work with you. But it is going to require work. It is not simply a matter of us just saying we're going to violate the law. That's not our tradition. But the great thing about this country is we have this wonderful process of democracy, and sometimes it is messy, and sometimes it is hard. But ultimately, justice and truth win out. Ju Hong, your response. First of all, he is not violating the law if, because he has the power to um, stop deportation. He, he can use his executive order to stop deportation, and that is not violating the law. And I think that um, the law itself is wrong and currently inhumane. I think the current law is affecting me and my family in an unjust way. For example, in 2010, uh, my family's home was burglarized and my door was broken, my windows were completely shattered, and my important belongings were gone. And we were terrified. And we wanted to contact the police immediately, but my mom said, Ju, do not contact police. What if you get deported? And this is something that we go through every single day. We had that fear and we had that uh, no protection and uncertainty. And this is not uh, just me. I know that 11.5 million undocumented immigrants are facing fear of deportation. And I'm very disappointed the fact that President Obama is supporting comprehensive immigration reform, but behind the door, he's deporting thousands of other undocumented immigrant family members, torning apart every single day. He deported 1. million undocumented immigrant families across the country, which is he deport more people than any other U.S. president in history. And every single day, 1,100 immigrants are getting deported because of anti-immigration deportation measure under uh, Obama administration. Uh, Ju Hong, uh, tell us about your story. Uh, how did your family come here? How did you come to be undocumented? And when did you learn you were undocumented? Sure. So I was born and raised in South Korea until I was 11 years old. And our family owned a small Japanese restaurant business in South Korea. But unfortunately, it did not really work out. And so our, our, our business, um, we gave up the business and we filed a bankruptcy. And then one year after, my mom and my dad decided to divorce. And ever since then, I grew up with my mom and my older sister, barely surviving in our home country in South Korea. So my mom decided to move to the United States in 2001 to seek a better life for me and my older sister. And ever since then, I grew up just like many other American students. I went to public school, spoke English, and joined many different student activities. And most importantly, you know, I had a dream to go to college. Uh, but during my senior year in high school, while I was filling out my college application, there was a section where that requires uh, citizenship status and social security number, and I didn't know what to put. And I asked my mom about it, and that's when she told me everything about our immigration status, that uh, we came here with a tourist visa, and she extended it for additional six months. And within 12 months, she tried to adjust our immigration status, but it did not work out, and we became undocumented. And when we, when I find out my immigration status, it was definitely depressing because of all the limitations that I had to go through, and I thought that I could not go to college. Um, all the limitations made me um, became a different per person. At the same time, 
Uh, I think that a lot of nonprofit organizations helped me out uh, in terms of how to go to college and educate me about uh, AB 540 and the DREAM Act and many different legislation that could help me to pathway to uh, citizenship. And the more I learn about immigration issues, I believe that President Obama and his administration is not doing uh, his job and their job uh, to support our community. In September, think, uh, President Obama ruled out halting the deportation of undocumented immigrant parents of children who were granted a reprieve last year, like you, Ju Hong. Under uh, the Deferred Action Program, the White House has suspended the deportations of young immigrants who were brought to the U.S. at an early age and would li have lived without legal status. But speaking to Telemundo, Obama said he it would be too extreme a measure to grant the same relief to the the parents. What we can do is then carve out the DREAM Act uh, folks saying young people who have basically grown up here are uh, Americans that we should welcome. Uh, we're not going to uh, have them operate under a cloud, under a shadow. Uh, but if we start broadening that, then essentially I would be ignoring uh, the law uh, in a way that uh, I think would be very difficult to defend legally. So that's not an option. That's President Obama. Um, Ju Hong, if you could quickly respond to that, and then we want to ask you about your protests that you were arrested for this summer. Yeah, uh, just quickly, I, before I jump, uh, before I directly answer your question, I just wanted to mention that um, because of courageous um, undocumented immigrant youth throughout the country, uh, spoke out and shared their stories and held rallies and events, uh, even conducting civil disobedience action and hunger strike. Um, that is why uh, President Obama um, introduced a DACA program, which allows certain undocumented students to um, halt deportations for at least two years and uh, get a work permit, uh, work authorization, and to directly respond to Deferred action question. for childhood arrivals. That's correct. And I think that you know, he is just using political uh, talking points to not supporting undocumented immigrant family members. Uh, the fact of the matter is, uh, DACA recipients um, have uh, family members who are getting deported, and they're getting separated um, every single day. And so what he needs to do right now is to expand DACA for all 11.5 million undocumented immigrant people. And that is the only way to reun reunite with the families, and that's the right way to uh, solve our broken immigration system as we continue to pressure Congress to pass a fair and just immigration reform. And Yu Hong, I want to ask you, this is not your first protest that you've been involved in over uh, immigration. Uh, former Department of Homeland Security Secretary Janet Napolitano was recently mm -hmm. confirmed as head of the University of California system. And last month, following criticism for policies on immigration, she vowed to authorize $5 million in university funds to help undocumented students who can't get federal financial aid. You were one of six people who were arrested at the University of California Regents meeting as they confirmed confirmed uh, Napolitano in July, uh, you were wearing that same blue T-shirt that says, I am undocumented. Why did you choose to take direct action against Janet Napolitano's nomination or confirmation? Uh, well, Janet Napolitano does not fit into the, uh, U, uh, the president of the UC system because of traveling record of what she had done to our community, because under her leadership, she deported 1.8 million undocumented immigrant fam family members across the country, and, and the, she's proud of the fact that what she had done. And she said in the public she support the DREAM Act, but in the closed door she deport people left and right. And I think that you see uh, undocumented students are genuinely scared of, of Jenna Napolitano as the next president of UC system, and she doesn't have any um, uh, a leading position in the education, and I think that uh, and she tried to recently uh, provided five million dollars uh, aid to undocumented immigrants, but I think that is the just political will uh, for her to ease out the protesters and she's trying to make her image as a positive figure. But the fact of the matter is the five million dollars will not substitute of the how much pain that she caused for our community, and she will never substitute. Um, the pain and suffering and fear that every single undocumented immigrant face 
that she has caused in our community. If she really cared about immigrant communities, I think that she should first publicly ap apologize to our community, and second, I think she should bring back uh, to the, uh, bring back a, uh, undocumented immigrant people that she deported, and third, she should respectfully resign.